N4H and H here, enjoying this uh, new Yaesu FTDX 5000. What I want to show you here is the low noise floor. This is what I experienced at Ham Radio Outlet when I was comparing this radio to everything else in there. The top of the line Kenwoods, ICOMs. This radio would have this low of a noise floor when the others were S6. Um, and yet when the, I thought that the receiver was defective and then when they, somebody started sending CW, this is what I saw. When, when the signal would be barely clearing the noise floor on the other rigs. So I uh, just was very impressed. Uh, and according to the paperwork, this is a dual heterodyne receiver on the HF uh, band here on, the, on VFOA. Uh, oddly enough, the paperwork says triple heterodyne on VFOB. <laughs> but anyway, just thought I'd shoot this quick video. It's just amazing to me the uh, the low noise floor. And of course, I am I am running the let me pan over here. I'm running the uh, DSP unit with a 150 hertz width and the APF. Let me turn the uh, DSP off. You'll see the really the APF is doing the work. Here, I'll turn it off. And that's an amazing feature on Yesus. I mean, look at the signal on this guy. And now I'm going to turn that APF feature back on, the audio peak filter for CW. Isn't that just amazing what that does? And then you can engage the VRF, which is the uh, front end pre-selector. And then you adjust it. But he's not sending now. Well, here's the other guy. You adjust it for maximum S meter reading. And it just provides a little bit more more uh, noise immunity, carving that signal out of the uh, noise floor. Not going to be as noticeable with this stronger signal. But when the other guy sends, we'll get to see that in action. I think I've found his this guy's peak. So you see, it goes through I believe 128 different combinations of uh, inductors and capacitors. There's a little, here, little relays click in there. And uh, you can see what the curve looks like. Basically, it's just carving out. It's, it's not that narrow, but it's better than uh, what the front end would be if that weren't in there. Uh, just, again, helps, helps carve the signal up out of the noise. And again, even on a strong signal, let me turn off the audio peak filter and the VRF, and there's what it sounds like with no filtering. I do have the 300 hertz filter engaged. You'll see there, this is the uh, Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP Limited, and it comes with a 300 hertz crystal filter. Let me cycle through that. There's a 600. 3K, 6K, 15K, and back to the 300. So the 300 helps a good bit, but audio peak filter. Let me get him back in there. That's just amazing. One push of a button. And you can uh, tweak it a little bit going plus or minus just in case you need to, in case the signal's just a, a few hertz off one way or the other from being dead on frequency. And of course, they've got the indicator right here that lets you know um, I am not quite on him. If I was on him, I'd have a green, let me see here. There we are, now I'm dead on him, see that? You have a green line on each side of the red line. So he's a little, the, this radio is dead on it with w, WV. 
uh, there's you know the really clever way to check that. Maybe I'll shoot another video sometime on how to do that. So here we are back to the other guy. It looks like he's he's uh, improved his signal strength a little bit. There he is with no help. Audio peak filter off. Audio peak filter on. I'll go ahead and engage the DSP and narrow it down to 50. So the width is 50 now. Another thing you can do, back over here to the DSP area, if you don't want to use the audio peak filter, you can cycle through something called contour, which is essentially, as you can see by the little blip there that's moving, it's a it's a um, sort of like a, a parametric EQ. There's a place in the menu to set the Q, the width, and you just sweep that through if you've got a particularly offensive noise going on. I've used this, it's especially useful on sideband. All right, let me go back over. The default's 300, which is usually good on sideband. If I go, see, I'm listening at 550 hertz right now, so if I go to 600, I'm, I'm kind of carving him down too. But you can go above him a little bit there and clear any, any noise you have um, that's higher frequency. But again, I think the APF feature says it all. That's, that's just a phenomenal option that the uh, EAC rigs have now, not just the 5,000. Okay, anyway, thought I would uh, shoot a video once, uh, you know, have the rig at home now. And I did purchase it with the uh, speaker uh, assembly that includes the spectrum scope. And I, I have to say, I was shocked at how much I like this thing. Um, it's got all kind of audio tapering features built in. It's got uh, a phase reversal that especially on sideband it like it puts them in the room with you it almost sounds like they're sitting next to you it's like a surround sound i just turned it back off it, it makes a difference on cw2 but especially uh it's noticeable on sideband okay this is n4 hnh and i uh, hope you enjoy the video of the ftdx 5000